lot of people ready to rock, man. Let's start with Riju saying, hey, Mike, what was it like working with CM Punk? Did you expect him to become the biggest thing in pro wrestling? According to Riju, but not me. <laughs> Mike Knox is the biggest thing in pro wrestling. That's biggest it. thing in pro wrestling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> hey, well, I'll tell you what. It was awesome working with Punk. I never really got to work with him before that. We would both been bounced around for a long time, man. Maybe eight, ten years before we got up to where we finally got to meet each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, we never, like, we never met. We never played around in the ring or nothing. I remember the first time that we wrestled. It was like I missed like two or three planes. It was just one of those nightmare days, and I didn't think I was ever, ever going to get there. I was in the car, changing in the car as they were driving me to the arena because the music was on. He was already out in the ring, and I had to jump out of the car and run to, through this thing. I think it was a or something. Yeah, and we ran to the ring and did everything out there. You know what I mean? The lost art. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, crawling in, in the ring. Every yeah. single thing yeah. out there, you know what I mean? Including the finish. Yeah. And, you know, before, when I was in Deep South, I was kind of like, I saw him on tape, and I was just kind of like, uh, I don't get it. Oh, <sighs> What's man. the big deal, man? Like, I don't know, he ain't that good. Like, I don't understand why everybody saw him, you know, like this. And then I went out there, we did that first match, mm -hmm. and I was a fan of his ever since. I was like, ah, Oh, that's what it is. Okay, yeah. duh. All right. Easy to work with, huh? Yeah, yeah, man. Real good. And great, great outside the ring. Great guy. You know what I mean? People kind of give him, give him a little bit because he went up to USC and he, he was trying to fight. You know what I mean? He's like, that takes heart, man, and that takes guts. Yeah. And that takes, you know, he don't have Brock Lesnar's size. You know what I mean? He mm -hmm. didn't. He wasn't wrestling since he was born. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, shooter style. You know what I mean? But he did it, man, and he made yeah. some money. Yeah, and God bless him. You know, I wish him nothing but success, man. We after that first match, we uh, we were pretty pretty solid, man. Nice, nice. Guillermo's asking, how was the work with Kelly Kelly, and didn't you feel sorry for her having a stripper gimmick? I did feel sorry for her having to do that gimmick because she was shoot eighteen years old. Yeah, she wasn't. She wasn't in the business. Like, she wasn't, like, how, you know, like, Natty or, or, you know, like, these girls, they come from a little bit of a little bit of training, you know what I mean? Like, years and years of work. She was kind of just thrown in there. You know, we'd only – she came down to Deep South, I want to say, maybe a few months before ECW opened up. Mm -hmm. And that was it. Wow. So, she didn't know, like, the tact in the locker room when she first got there, like – she didn't know that it's not okay to be five minutes late or, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Or to make people wait or, you know what I mean? But she yeah. learned, she learned really fast. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And it's like, I want to say, I remember when Sandman hit her with that stick. Mm -hmm. I pulled her in the way, like, mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. what I mean? That was the first time that she ever had gotten physical, like physicality in the ring. Mm -hmm. And I'll be honest, after that, I do not remember her ever being late. I don't remember her, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot different respect after getting smashed in the face of that cane. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Welcome to WWE. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you do this every single day? Like, yes. Exactly. Right there, five, six, seven, eight times, like a night? I was like, yep. Wow. <laughs> yeah. How does she even get discovered? I want to say, now I'm not 100% on this. But I want to say she was John Laurinaitis's, I don't, maybe neighbor or good friend's daughter mm -hmm. or friend of the family. Because mm -hmm. I know whenever she came in, he was extra protective of her. Gotcha. You know, made it like a big deal about it. Like, boys, this is an innocent young girl. Mm -hmm. No corrupting. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. be professional, guys. You know what I mean? So, yeah. and. 